Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to be talking about some new Pixie Beauty releases. They have been sending me some PR packages, which has been very nice. Thank you so much to Pixie Beauty for these packages. It's always nice when you can receive products for free to review because I honestly can't like purchase every single new release and review it for you guys. So it's always nice to get PR packages. So I'm always very grateful and appreciative of them. So thank you so much to Pixie Beauty. Not all of them were sent to me. I did purchase some on my own. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So I'm actually gonna jump in first to their newest release that I actually found at Target the other day. So I have not received these. I don't know if I was going to receive these eventually. So I just went ahead and bought them because I really thought they were pretty. So these are the Pixie Glow Cake 3-in-1 Luminous Transition Powders. They come in two shades and these retail for $28. So they are pretty pricey, but you do get a lot of product in here. These are pretty big compacts. You get 24 grams of product and you can see how big they are compared to my head. So a nice sized product and they have two shades. So they have Pink Champagne Glow, which is the darker of the two. So it has a nice like radiant ombre effect and then it says pixie glow inside. So I think the packaging is really cute. I like it. And then this one here is called Gilded Bear Glow. It's a little bit more corally. So you have like a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. You can use each one individually or you can kind of swirl your brush through all of them to just get a blush color. So I'm just gonna read to you what it says on the back of this. It says, this silky soft light diffusing cheek glow palette enhances and perfects as it maximizes complexions radiance infused with peptide ceramides and antioxidants it adds a luminous sheer wash of color for a smooth and natural finish so i have to completely agree with that because i had been using these both for the last week and then i went to swatch them yesterday outside for instagram photos and when i swatched them they look very very shimmery on my hand when i swatched them but i felt like when i used them on my face it was definitely like a sheer radiance like it wasn't super glowy on my skin. It was perfect. I really liked the way that it looked on the skin. I used them where I used each individual shade and I've also used it where I kind of mixed them all together. I think it's nice and glowy, but not overly glowy, especially for like a bronzer that has a sheen and a blush that has a sheen. So I just think overall it's really, really pretty and I just dug my nail into it now so I got powder everywhere. <laughs> well, I've been personally enjoying these. I think they're really, really gorgeous. I think these blend onto the skin really, really nice and they do have a natural sheer radiance to them. It's nothing over the top or anything like that. I just think they're really pretty. So I've been enjoying these. They are a little bit pricey for being at the drugstore, but I feel like Pixie Beauty is like kind of drugstore, but a little bit on the higher end of drugstore, you know what I mean? I don't mind it because you do get a lot of product. It is a very, very big compact. You kind of get three products in one. So if you look at it that way, then it might be justifying the price. But you know, some people may think that it's a little bit too pricey. So I have been in love with the Liquid Fairy Lights Glimmery Shadows. So these are basically like a glitter liquid shadow. And I did mention these I think in a couple videos and I did show how I applied it in one video. If I can find that clip, I will insert in this video to show you guys how I apply it. But these are so beautiful. They're kind of like the Stila glitter and glows, but they're more affordable. But these retail for $15 each and they have five shades. They have five grams of product in here. So these are definitely cheaper than the Stila glitter and glows because those are I think like 24 each and these are 15 each. So they're just very, very pretty. I've been wearing them pretty much nonstop. My last video that I posted, I think it was the last several videos I posted, I was wearing these on top of other eyeshadows. So I mainly like to use these as an eyeshadow topper. So like for instance, the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today, I will just throw one of these on top, like especially in the center of the lid and I just think it gives a nice glimmery, glamorous look. I just love it. So here's what the overall packaging on these looks like right here, nice slim. And it does have a double-ended flat doe foot applicator, which makes very easy for application. You can apply it directly on the lid with the applicator, but what I like to do is just take a flat brush, get some product off on the brush like this, and then just tap it onto the lid. I feel like that's the best way to apply these. Any cream shadow, really, I like to just get it off the applicator with a brush and then tap it on. I just feel like that's the best way to apply it because if you start rubbing it around, I just feel like you don't always get the best application with it. It just is best to pat it on. That way it doesn't lift any shadow underneath. 
um, because I personally like to use these more as a shadow topper, although I have used them on their own. But I personally like to do my eyeshadow and then I like to use these in the center of the lid or just all over the lid over the other shadows and they're just really pretty they have a lot of glitter in them they're very sparkly and they're just stunning so i've been truly enjoying these i like every single color i think my favorite though is this coppery one i don't know i use this one and i just thought it was kind of unique it's called passion light i wore this in a video and everybody was like what's on your lids it was this so pretty so these have been favorites. I hope they come out with more shades because they're all very neutral. So if they came out with more shades, that would be awesome. So these highlighters from Pixi are incredible. I love the formula and texture of them. They're just so good. I wish they would come out with more shades. So these are called the Glowy Glossomir Duos and they only have two of them right now. Hopefully they will eventually come out with more. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. I have not heard one bad thing about these. I've heard several people rave about them. So they have a subtle sunrise and then they have delicate dew. I've been wearing these a lot. I love them. So I did purchase these two on my own before I even started getting Pixie PR packages. And then they did send me these two right here. So thank you so much again to Pixie. I might do a giveaway with those. Maybe we'll see. I do have a giveaway that I need to do. I've been wanting to do it forever. Just have not found the time to film it. So um, I have a whole box full of stuff. So anyway, the texture of these is almost like a cream to powder, but it doesn't have like a cream feel like ColourPop shadows or highlighters. I don't know, it's just look how reflective they are. They're absolutely stunning. The pigment is insane. They have a very wet look to the skin. They're incredible, like incredible. These are so good. So let me swatch this one. Like they're so smooth, incredibly smooth. It's just, I mean, look at this. Oh, so pretty. So these retail for $18 each. You get two shades in each compact. You get 8.3 grams of product. And I can't say enough good things about these. They're just fantastic in formula, the reflectiveness, the way they sit on the skin. They don't emphasize any texture. I mean, look at that. So pretty. I do kind of wish like the two lighter shades in each palette were in its own palette. Do you know what I mean? Because I find that the two lighter shades work best for my skin just because I am a light complexion. And then I wish the two darker shades in each palette went as a duo. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I wish the two light shades from each of these palettes was its own palette. And then the two darker shades from each of these palettes was its own palette. So anyways, I love them though. They're just so pretty. They make good eyeshadows as well. I love the formula. So can't say enough good things about these. Definitely recommend them. And then I did buy these a while ago myself. I bought them at Target. These are the Matte Last Liquid Lips and they come in six shades. I purchased three of them. They retail for $14 each and you get 6.9 grams of product in here. I just went for the colors that I think I would wear the most. Some of the other colors in the line are a little bit brighter. So I have Pastel Petal, Matte Beige, and Really Rose. All very neutral shades, very wearable shades. So it has one of those pointed slanted doe foot applicators it's very nice especially the point so you can get right on the edges of the lip and they have a good smell they almost smell a little citrusy they're very opaque they have a thin formula that first one there is pastel petal so pretty this one is matte beige which is kind of a weird shade name for this because i don't feel like it's beige at all <laughs> that one right there I do wish they had more shades of these, more nude shades in these. They do dry down matte eventually. Um, so that one is really rose. So really pretty colors. I really like the applicator on these. The packaging's cute. The quality of the liquid lipstick is really nice. It's thin, it's very opaque. It goes on nice and evenly. It's a nice, even opaque application and they do dry down matte and it's just a nice overall formula, so I'm really enjoying those. So then I received these eyeliner pencils from Pixi. These are called the Endless Silky Eye Pens, and they're supposed to be waterproof. They retail for $12 each. They have 21 shades, which is a lot. So I have a purple here, which is called Velvet Violet. You get 1.2 grams of product in here. I have not worn the violet color. Um, I have Matte Mulberry, 
which I've worn this one on the upper lash line. It's almost like a warm brownish, slight plum tone to it. This one here is black blue. I've worn this on the waterline. And then this one is rose glow and I've worn this on the upper lash line. So these are all the swatches right here. So you can definitely see that this one is a blackened blue. It's a pretty dark blue. I wore that one on the waterline. I felt like the wear time was pretty standard for a pencil cream liner. I have watery eyes, so I feel like cream pencils don't last the longest on my waterline. Um, these I felt like were pretty average, like I could get a good four to five hours wear on it. Like I have one on right now from L'Oreal and it's already starting to wear down. And they just don't last that long on my waterline and I personally don't wear a lot of eyeliner on my waterline anymore. I usually don't like to apply it, but today I did because I was trying out a new one. So um, on the upper lash line, I didn't have a problem. It lasted all day. It was very easy to apply, glided right on, very creamy, really pretty colors. So those were nice. But I have not I have not tried the purple one yet. I cannot wear purple on my waterline or eyeshadow on my lower lash line. It just irritates my eyes the next day. I have like an allergy to like the purples or something. So I can't do that. So if I try the purple, I'll definitely have to be on my upper lash line. Then I got this one here. It's the Eye Bright Liner, Inner Rim Liner. I've never tried this one actually. This is one product I have not tried. So it's just in nude. Um, like I said, I don't wear a lot of liner on my waterline anymore, but I will definitely give this a try. Comes in a retractable pencil, and I don't even know if you can see that swatch. So it's retractable, that's what it looks like. So yeah, I'll have to give that a try, but I haven't used it yet. This one here is the Lash Line Ink. This is a liquid liner. I actually had this on in a recent video. It has a very long felt tip applicator, which is usually what I prefer when it comes to liquid liner. It's very, very black. It does have a little bit of a glossy finish to it. I know a lot of people prefer matte finishes. I personally like when it's glossy because then it does not bleed. So whenever a liquid liner is matte, it always bleeds on me in the inner corner. Even when I apply it on the upper lash line, if I get it too close in here, it just always bleeds on my tear duct area. So. I personally like it when it's a little bit glossy just because it always stays put when it's glossy. When it's matte, it does not stay put. But I know a lot of people prefer matte over the glossy look. So it was very easy to apply. The felt tip is a little bit flexible, which is nice. And you can see it is super, super black. So I like this, I think it's really nice. This one I have not used. It is the iDefine Waterline Tightline Black Liner. So this one is retractable. And I have not used this one yet. So that looks really black as well. I like that it is retractable. Those are always nice when you don't have to sharpen it. So <laughs> I need to give that one a try. But like I said, I don't wear a lot of liner on my waterline. That one specifically says tight line. And then I have two mascaras here. One's a primer. And so this is the Black Lacquer Lash Primer. And this is a three in one. I have tried this a couple times. Not my favorite primer, but it wasn't horrible. I think it was more the brush, actually. So it's kind of flat and the bristles are on each side. So I just felt like maybe it was more the brush than the formula. But I do like lash primers. I actually really like the white ones. All the white ones I've tried I like. I like one from L'Oreal. So this here is the Large Lash Mascara Volumizing Mascara in Bold Black. So I have tried this once or twice, maybe twice. And the wand's a little bit big. I actually prefer a small skinny wand. So the wand was a little bit big for me. I've only used it a couple times. I feel like with mascaras, it's hard to know right off the bat if you're gonna like it, because there's been times where I love a mascara initially, but then it dries out too quick and then I don't like it. I personally like when my mascaras have a little bit more moisture to them because I feel like it gives me more volume and more definition. When they're really dry, I just feel like I can't get a lot of mascara on my lashes. So um, this one I do need to play around with some more, but the applicator is just a little bit big for my liking. I personally prefer something a little smaller, so. But I'll have to give it a try and use it a little bit more. So then I have some collaborations with Pixie that I wanna talk about. So this first one is with Dulce Candy. I've been watching her since the beginning, like from way back when. So this is the Cafe Do Café con Luce Sweet Glow Palette. 
So you get nine shades in here. You can use this as eyeshadow or as highlighting palette. It retails for $24. I really like the shades in here. You do get all the shade names on the back, which is nice. I actually purchased this myself and I have no idea where I put that. So I used the one that they sent me because they did send me one as well. So I'm not even sure if I've used the one. I don't think I used the one that I purchased. So if I did not touch it, I probably will put that in a giveaway. I have a box full of stuff that I want to give away. I just haven't had time to film it. I keep forgetting about it, to be honest with you. So I personally like to use these as eyeshadows over highlighters. You can use them as highlighters. I've used these two lighter shades as highlights and they're pretty, but the formula is a little bit thicker, like especially than the glossy glossy duos or whatever that I just showed you. Those have a really nice thin formula. These are a little bit thick and I feel like they're just better as an eyeshadow than a highlighter. As a highlighter, I just feel like they do emphasize texture a little bit and they sit on the skin a little bit heavier. They don't kind of melt into the skin like the other ones do. Um, I still think they're pretty. They're just not my favorite as a highlighter, but I do like to apply these with my finger for eyeshadow. Like on my lid, I think they're stunning. Like for instance, let me get this pink color right here. Just put a little bit in the center of the lid. I think they make nice eyeshadows and I, they do apply best with the finger honestly just because they do have that thicker formula. I feel like they have a lot of dimethicone or something in them. They um, a lot of times when a product has a lot of dimethicone it just applies better with the finger versus with the brush. I just feel like your finger picks up the product better. So I have been enjoying these as eyeshadows applied with my finger. Um, I have used them though as highlighters. They're pretty as well. I just prefer them as eyeshadows. So like, look how reflective they are. And then I do have this one that was sent to me. It's the Dulce Candy Lip Candy Palette. I don't really use lip products that are in pans like this. I feel like I should not even attempt to use this. I think I'm gonna give this away and put it in the giveaway box. Next is a duo collaboration with a YouTuber. Her name is Wiley Hoang. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. Um, I had not heard of her prior to this collaboration, but these two products do come together in this packaging right here. I actually had purchased this and then they sent me this box. So I actually returned the one that I purchased because I had not used it yet when I got this package. So I returned it to Target and then, you know, I started using this one. So this comes with a double-ended liner. So it has a felt tip liner, which is kind of similar to the one that they have that I already showed you. It's very black, very easy to use. It has same kind of applicator on it. it. Might be a little thicker actually. And then it has a retractable coal liner in black on this end, which I actually have not used this liner. So that is that one there. And then it comes with this six pan eyeshadow palette right here and the names are on the back so this is called the let's talk eyes eyeshadow palette you get six pans and they're 2.3 grams each you get three mattes and then three shimmers i've used this i think twice and i thought they were nice especially the matte shades were really nice there are the shades there these are the three mattes and then these are the three shimmers so you get like a deep bronze a very like champagne glowy color and then a shimmery pink. So the last product here is the Chloe Morello collaboration. It comes with this lip gloss and this palette right here. But in this palette, you do get like brow shades and eyeshadows and then three blushes. My favorites from this palette are definitely the blushes over the shadows. I just feel like the shadows are okay. They're not like anything special for me. I feel like they could be better. So those are the shadows and then the brow colors. So the brow powder's fine. The eyeshadows, some are better than others. Um, I don't know, I just it's not my favorite eyeshadow formula from Pixi. It's just a very natural palette. Like you can get very natural looks out of this. So if you're into that, this might be for you. Um, the blushes are really pretty and they are pretty big. So again, you get the names on the back and this one's called the Romantic Radiance Palette. So the blushes have 4.45 grams, the eyeshadows have 1.8 grams, and the liners have one gram, no, 1.1.
1.1 gram. The blushes are really soft to the touch. They're very, very smooth. They blend really nicely onto the skin. So those are the three shades. My favorite are these two here. This one's a little bit darker, so I do have to use it with the light hand. So out of everything in this palette, I actually prefer the blushes over the shadows. So part of the Chloe Morello collaboration, she came up with this lip gloss. It's called the Lip Icing Lip Glow. This is really, really pretty. It almost looks like those sh liquid shadows, but this is like a lip gloss. It has a good smell to it. It's very smooth. I can't feel like texture. Sometimes like very shimmery glosses like this, you can feel the grittiness, but you can't with this one. It has a flat double-ended applicator on it. Very smooth on the lips. Just a really nice lip topper. I think it's a really beautiful shade. I like the way it feels on the lips and the way it looks. So that one is a hit. I like that. Anyway, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.